Good morning, boys and girls. Let's get ready for Saxon Phonics Lesson 73. The materials you're going to need today are Worksheet 73 and a pencil. Uh, and you also need Worksheet 73A, which is like a little activity sheet. Um, the standard for today says that the student will demonstrate an understanding of spoken words, syllables, and sounds. The student will distinguish long from short vowel sounds in spoken single syllable words. The student will orally produce single syllable words by blending sounds and consonant blends. Uh, the student will isolate and produce initial, medial vowel, and final sounds in spoken single syllable words. The student will segment spoken single syllable words into their complete sequence of individual sounds. Our essential question says, how do I orally produce single syllable sounds uh, single syllable words by blending the sounds, okay? Now, let's review our rules so we can get started. A vowel followed by a consonant is short. Cut it with a breed. An open, accented vowel is long. Cut it with a macron. This is our syllable division chart for the VCCV pattern. You identify your vowels, label them. Look between the vowels, label the consonants. If you have a VCCV pattern, divide it between the consonants and then code each syllable. A vowel followed by a consonant and sneaky E is long. Code the vowel with a macron and mark out sneaky E. A digraph is two letters that come together to make one sound. When we're trying to spell using the letters K and C, we've got to figure out how do I know which which one to use when. K comes before E, I, or Y. C comes before A, O, U, or any consonant. When we're trying to spell K at the end of a word in the final position, there are four different ways to do it. The first way is by using digraph CK after a short vowel. We can use plain old K after a consonant or a vowel digraph. We can use KE after a long vowel. That gives us that sneaky E. And then we can use plain old C in a word, at the end of a word, that has at least two syllables. Okay? Um, when we're spelling a word that has the V sound at the end, we spell it with V-E because English words do not end with just V. And the last one is the floss rule. When a one-syllable root word has a short vowel sound followed by the sound f, l, or s, we use twin consonants to spell f, l, or s, okay? Now, let's look at this. We're going to practice alphabetizing words. We did this the other day. We had six words. Well, today we have seven. I got the numbers down here, one through seven. And so what we're going to do is say the alphabet. When we... Um, Find a word that we need to put, we put a number by it. So we're going to start with A. Do we have a word that begins with A? No. Now remember, our guide letter is our first letter in every word. So. All right, so we don't have one that begins with A. Do we have one that begins with the next letter of the alphabet, which is B? Yes, we do. So B, the word that begins with B, is going to be our first word. So we're going to put the one by that. What comes after B in the alphabet? C. Do we have a word that begins with C? Yes, we do. That will be the second one. All right, after C is D. Do we have a word that starts with D? Yes. That's going to be our third one. All right, after D comes E. Do we have a word that begins with E? No. F. Do we have a word that begins with F? Yes, so that's going to be word number four. All right, after F is G. Do we have one that begins with G? No. H? Yes. I? No. J? Yes. And then we can quit saying the alphabet there because we only have one left. The next letter after J is K. We don't have one that starts with K, but then there's L is the next one. So we have just put our words in A, B, C order. So the first one would be barn. The 
second one would be cart. The third one would be dart. The fourth one would be farmer. Number five would be harm. Number six would be jar. And number seven would be lark. And look, all of these words have combination AR, don't they? Okay, now you have um, a sheet, an activity sheet that has, I think, four words. I want you to do that independently. Put them in ABC order by numbering. The one that would be first, put a one by it. The one that would be next, put a two by it. Okay, so that's a little independent assignment for you to do. And you can do that after we finish our lesson. Okay, um, let's do our assignments. Okay, my sheet with the sounds written on it. Number one. Echo J. J. What says J? J. Number two. What's the spelling response for? H. Number three. W. What's the spelling response for? W. W. Number four. Echo. Z. What's the spelling response? Z comma S. Number five. T. T. Number six. Er. What says er? Combination ER. Number seven. Echo R. What's the spelling response for R? Combination AR. Uh, number eight. Ch. Ch. Digraph CH. Number nine. V. Final VE. Number ten. N. 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 Okay? Now. I want you to echo these words and listen for the sound that's the same in the medial position. Remember, medial means middle. All right, echo cork, sort, forget. Again, cork, sort, forget. Okay, what did you hear in the medial position? Or, okay, let's look up here and see if we can figure out what says or. Okay, O-R. All these words have O-R in them, so we can see that O-R must be the letters used to spell or. Now, these two letters come together to make an unexpected sound. What do we call that? That's called a combination, that's right. So, two letters that come together to make an unexpected sound are called a combination. How do we code a combination? We put an arc under it. This is combination O-R. So let's code it. Okay. K back on that one. B, C, C, V. Divide it. Put a break. K, or, K, cork. S, or, T, sort. Forget. Forget. Okay. So, let's look at our new um, card. Oh. We haven't done our decks. I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, well, let's get it out. This is combination OR. OK, 
Okay, so you gotta have a new um, keyword picture to go with it. Let me give you a clue. The clue that goes with the combination of OR is as a large animal with four legs and a mane and a long tail. Lots of times it lives on a farm or a ranch. Some people have them for pets, but uh, that's a mighty big pet. What do you think it might be? Horse or, okay, horse. All right. So, um, we're doing things differently today because I forgot to do the decks, but we're still going to do them. We'll go ahead and do the next page before we go back to that. Let's code a little bit. Alright. Underline digraph TH. A vowel followed by a consonant is short. Code it with a breathe. Let's sound out this word. Yes. Yes. Does that sound right? Let's try it the other way. Make it voice. V. Yes. This. Yes. We need a voice line. This. All right. We don't really need a voice line right here, but we did. Uh, we don't need a voice line in the S, but we do in the TH. All right. So the word is this. All right. This one is. Um, the suffix, put that Y in the box. You still have the root word, underline, digraph AI, mark out the I, put a macron over the A. The word is rainy. Rainy. And then this is, we can't have Y as a suffix there because that's not a word. That's digraph AY. Mark out the Y, put a macron over the A. What's the word? D a day. This rainy day. Okay, now let's do the next one. This one is a contraction. Remember, a contraction is two words that come together, uh, and we take out some letters to make a shortened version of the words. So um, we don't code contractions. We just leave that. All right, this word, I think I see a final stable syllable. Put a bracket, mark out the E, underline digraph C, H. A vowel followed by a consonant is short. Code it with a breathe. Put K back on the C. What's the word? Ch uh, cool. Chuckle. Chuckle means to laugh. And this one ends with L-Y. If I cover that up, I still have a root word. So suffix L-Y goes in a box. Underline trigraph I-G-H. Mark out the G and the H. Put a macron over the I. Sound it out. Light. Light. Lightly. Heal, chuckle, lightly. Okay? Now, here's one with apostrophe S. You know we don't code apostrophe S. Just leave that alone and do this part. That's a vowel. Vowel, consonant, consonant. We have a VCCV pattern. So we're going to um, divide it between the two consonants. Combination AR, put an R. This is going to be open and accented. So you put a macron up there. M R Mar Go. Margo's. Something belongs to Margo. Let's find out. Alright, if I cover up the Y, I have a root word, so that means put it in the box. A vowel followed by a consonant is short. Code it with a brie. Underline digraph SH. Sound out the word. M uh sh. E, mushy. Margot's mushy compound word. Divide it in between. Sneaky E. Put a macron over the A. Put a K back on the K, on the C. Underline digraph SH. Put an R in the combination O R. Sh or t short cake. Cake. Short cake. I love short cake. Margot's mushy. Shortcake. I don't know if I'd love mushy shortcake, but anyway. All right, now let's do our decks. We've got to get those done. We need to practice every day. Here we go. Get ready. Digraph CH. Combination AR. Digraph AY. Digraph AI. Trigraph IGH. Combination ER. Vowel Y. 
final stable syllable T-L-E, final stable syllable G-L-E, final stable syllable F-L-E, final stable syllable P-L-E, final stable syllable D-L-E, final stable syllable B-L-E, V, J, digraph O-O, digraph S-H, Y, X, I consonant E, E consonant E, O consonant E, U consonant E, A consonant E, W, U, digraph E, E, digraph N, G, digraph T, H, digraph C, K, E, M, C, K, R, G, H, D, T, P, S, L, O, I, N, Z, A, B, F, keywords, star, R, light, I, butter, Er, bottle, tool, bugle, goal, ruffle, full, staple, pull, candle, dull, bubble, bull, vest, z, jar, j, hook, u, uh, tooth, oo, shark, sh, yarn, y, fox, Wagon, w. Umbrella, uh. Unicorn, u. Q, u. Ring, m. Mm. Thimble, th. Feather, v. Fish, f. Whoops. Elephant, e. Eh. Candy, e. Equal, e. Concrete, e. Sheep, e. Monkey, m, mm. balloon, b, kite, k, cat, k, duck, k, dog, d, sun, s, rose, z, zebra, z, rabbit, r, goat, g, cheese. Hat, inch, i, dime, i, bicycle, i, cry, i, overalls, o, hose, o, octopus, r, hay, a, acorn, a, cake, a, rain, a, apple, a, Tent, t, nest, m, mm. pig, p, lion, o, suffix s. We add it to a word to make it mean more than one. Suffix ing. We add it to a word to make it mean something that's happening right now. Suffix ed. We add it to a word to make it mean something that's already happened. Suffix y, suffix less, suffix ness, suffix li. Sight words, I, come, some, friend, the, said, who, into, do, to, you, your, color, what, from, are, of, there, there, does, goes, been, put, want, was, where, to, done, one, sure, won't, 
don't, brought, bought, thought, bought, would, could, should, school, says, give, have, live, they, people, love, move, many, any, other, another, brother, mother, only, something, answer, were, early, earth, heard, learn. Okay, now, let's go back to our worksheet. Put your pencil on number 11 and spell the word much. How much did it rain last night? Much. M-U-C-H. Much. M-U-C-H. Number 12. After. After. After we finish, you can go play. After. Sound it out. say er. All right, now, echo this sound, or, or. What's the spelling response for or? Combination, O-R. All right, now let's spell some words with combination, O-R, right up here at the top. Number 14, for. This is for you, for. Now remember, we're using combination of or. Or. Now, um, don't confuse that with the number word, because it's spelled differently. It's a sight word. This one is just four. Or. Number 15, corn. All right, now we got that k sound, so let's put that k. Or. Hmm. What comes before O? Let's see. K comes before E, I, or Y. C comes before A, O, U, or any consonant. So we're going to use the letter C. Corn. And the next word is north. North. North is one of the cardinal directions. N, or, th. Let's do it. N, or, th. North. Now, let's code some words. All of these first five words are going to have combination O-R. All right, so we're going to underline diagraph T-H, put an arc under combination O-R, and read the word. Thorn. Thorn. Have you ever gotten a thorn in your finger? Thorn. All right, let's look at this one. Um, suffix Y, because that's still the root word. Put an arc under combination O R. This is a blend S T st or mm, storm E stormy. All right. This is a compound word divided between the two words. A vowel followed by a consonant is short. Code it with a V. Put a K back on the K on the C. Put an arc under combination O R. Sound out the word. Pop pop corn. Popcorn. There's the picture of the popcorn. Okay. Number 20. Combination O-R needs an arc underneath it. And diagraph C-H needs a line underneath it. What's the word? Sound it out. Or -ch. Porch. Porch. I like to sit on the front porch. And the last one. All right. Put an arc under combination O-R. And then mark out the E. Horse. Horse. Now, you're going to do these words by yourself. 
Let's see. Um, I see one with a final stable syllable. I see two with a suffix. I see a compound word, and I see a contraction. Do we code contractions? No, ma'am. Okay. On the back. Read your passage two or three times. Code the words that you need to. If you can read it without coding, that's what I want you to do. But the ones that you need help on, code it. Read the question. Go up there and find the answer in the story. Underline it and put the number beside it. So wherever the answer is to this right here, underline it and put a little one and circle it. Number two, find the answer up here. Underline it. I'm telling you, if you do this, you'll be all set for second grade. Same thing for number three. Let's read our words in the high-frequency word box. Read with me. Heard. Another. Earth. Learn. Mother. Something. All those are sight words today. All right, boys and girls, go back and do your um, alphabetizing after you finish this other stuff. Good job.